Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up PPP own using a virtual machine so we can load Goal 10 on our PS4 running 11.00. Currently, it is updated to run from 7.50 straight up to 11. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just jump right into the video here. I am on the Flow's official GitHub. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up our terminal window. And we'll scroll down and there's a few commands we need to go ahead and type in. First thing we need to do is get the, uh, the files. So we'll go ahead and copy that and we'll go ahead and just paste it in. Okay, and it shouldn't take very long to download everything. From here, we'll go into the PPP own folder. So CD PPWN. And then we'll install the required files. So I have the files installed. So it probably is just going to uh, not install and just let me know that they're already installed. So we're going to type in our password. Okay. So I, as I said, they already exist. Okay. So from there, we just need to go ahead and make stage one and stage two. So if we go ahead and just copy it and bring it up and we'll just paste it in now stage two isn't really required um, because what we're going to do is use Cistro's file but uh, you can go ahead and create it anyways so we'll go ahead and minimize that for a minute we'll open up our home folder go into our pppwn folder go into stage two and then we can go ahead and just rename our stage two bin uh, we'll name it dot the original and then we'll go ahead and open up our browser again go on to Cistro's github here and we jump over here to the releases go ahead and select it and we'll go ahead and download the stage 2 open up the folder should be able to right click on it and then we'll go to extract here go into the stage 2 folder and as you can see, we have one for 9.00 and 11. So we'll go ahead and minimize our browser here. And we'll go ahead and stage to the 11. Drag that over. And we just want to make sure we rename it to the stage 2. So we'll take out the 11. And once we have that done, we are good on that part. So the next part, we need to go ahead and get the goal 10 file. So open up our browser again go over to our goal 10 and if you come here you can only see that there's only a few but if you come up to here select beta and then we can see our goal 10 is here so we'll go ahead and download that as well and we'll do the same thing for that open up the folder right click and extract here go into the folder and we have our goal 10 dot bin right there okay so now that we do have our goal 10 we can go ahead and insert our usb and we'll come down to the usb plug here right click on it and go ahead and select our usb device give it a few minutes here just to load up shouldn't take very long there we go loading down here we should get a notification up the top here and we can go ahead and select it from here we'll go ahead and Drag over to our goal 10, over to the root of it. Confirm that it did get copied. And from there, we'll go ahead and close everything out. Now, before we go into the next step, we need to bridge our network adapter. So we'll jump up to machine. We'll go to settings. Come down to network. And as you can see, I do have it bridged to the Wi-Fi adapter. We're going to go ahead and select our Ethernet adapter which is the PCIe GBE family controller. So go ahead and select that and hit OK. So now we're on to the final step here. Uh, so we have our interface here. We need to confirm our network adapter as well as we will be working with firmware 11.00. That can be changed depending on which firmware you're using. So we'll go ahead and open up our terminal again. From here, we'll go ahead and type in IP space link and as you can see, I do have two here. Usually the first one is nothing to be concerned about, but we focus on the second one. 
And as you can see, it's EMP0S3, which is the same that is listed here. So we'll go ahead and select that by copying it. And we'll go ahead and paste it up into our window here. Now we're not quite ready to execute the command yet. We'll have to jump over to the PS4 and get that all set up. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and plug in our USB that has the gold hen on the root of it. And we'll go ahead and plug in our ethernet cable to the back of the PS4 and over to the PC that is running the virtual machine. From there, we'll go ahead and jump on to settings on the PS4. We'll go down to network, go ahead and set up internet connection. We're gonna go ahead and select LAN cable. From here, we'll go to custom and then we'll go to PPPOE. Now for the username, it doesn't really matter. GG is fine. Same with the password, GG. And then we'll go ahead and select next. DNS will do automatically, the MTU settings automatically, and then the proxy do not use. Now we can go ahead and load up our terminal window that is on our virtual machine. And we have our command all ready. So we'll go ahead and execute that by just hitting enter. And it says waiting for PADI. So we'll go ahead and hit test connection. And we'll give it a few moments here. There we go, and it's starting to go. Shouldn't take very long. Sometimes it does fail and you need to restart it. But uh, usually out of, out of three tries, you usually get it. Doesn't usually take very long. There is a few apps that are going around that you can run this on Windows. I've tried a few of them. I don't find them as quick as running the virtual machine. Um, I find that's a little better. Um, they are Python scripts, so they are a little bit slower. The, uh, I believe that someone is converting it over to C++, which will be a lot quicker. So it looks like we're going through on the first try. And we'll wait and we should get, there we go. Cannot connect to the network is our first message. And then pwn, PPP, PP pwned is our next message and gold hand is loaded. So we can go ahead and just remove our terminal window out of there as we don't need that anymore and we'll go ahead and back out of here and we'll just jump back into network here go to set up internet connection now we'll go to use wi-fi and it remembers your wi-fi connection previously so it does actually save it so you just go ahead and say yes to it give it a few moments here to load and there we go so if we go down to view connection status you can see my primary DNS is set up for nomadics, which is uh, good to keep there because that will block all the, the updates. So we'll back out of there. And if we jump up to our user guide, go into user guide, it should redirect us to the seven and one site. From here, I do have a 11.00 host set up. Um, eventually we will get the a few more hosts in here, but Chameleon's the only one that set it up so far. So we'll go ahead and jump into there. Give it a few moments here to install the cache. And there you go. So we do have a few uh, payloads that we can use now. And they use the bin loader. So if we go ahead and just back out of there for a minute and we'll jump over to our settings. We'll go into Gold Hand. We'll go to uh, Server Settings. And you can see that we do have the bin loader set up. So if we uncheck it, it shuts it down. And if we go ahead and check it again, it actually opens it back up. So if we back out of there and we go into our user guide again, and we'll get it loaded up and I will show you that we can load a payload from there. So go into chameleons, we'll go to disable updates. I do recommend uh, adding this. And there you go, receive payload and disabled updates but yeah that's basically it for the video guys i hope you did enjoy it if you did go ahead and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching